Lily Parmenter is in no doubt. Her mum, Katie O'Shea, is dead. But with no body, Lily has nothing but a name on a plaque to visit. It's like she just vanished. The final words that she said to me was, don't ever forget how much I love you and how proud of you I am. What do you think happened to her? I know that she's no longer here. Do you think your mum was murdered? Yes. In December 2005, Katie O'Shea was visiting family and friends in the Atherton Tablelands of far north Queensland when she simply vanished. She was known to hitchhike and police suspect Katie was abducted and killed. And did she wear those earrings all the time? Um, to my knowledge, yeah. Lily was only a teenager at the time, but she's never stopped pushing for the case to be solved. How much would it mean to you to be able to get an answer? I would give anything for answers. She deserves to, to be able to be laid to rest, so to speak. For years, Detective Senior Sergeant Brett Devine searched for a breakthrough in Katie O'Shea's murder. It was 2013 when Frank Walk suddenly emerged as a potential suspect. I received a call from uh, the Special Crime Squad in Western Australia, and it was more along the lines of, um, what can you tell me about uh, Frank Walk? He's a person of interest in relation to a missing person. You know, during the conversation, well, we joined the dots, so to speak. Those dots were the similarities between Hayley Dodd's murder in 1999 and Andrea's rape in 2007. Both victims were hitchhiking and were targeted by Frank Walk in an opportunistic attack. But it was the presence of a single earring in both cases that stunned police. What was the clincher for you that made you realise that there was a link? Oh, definitely the earring. The earring is, is, can be referred to as uh, taking a trophy by an offender. What's it like to realise all of a sudden that there's this breathtaking link in evidence? Uh, probably the first thought is, um, what else have you done? Chilling. It's almost like a movie. Yeah, it's Hannibal Lecter without the mask. It is, isn't it? He's a terrifying character. Police don't yet have enough evidence to charge Frank Walk over Katie O'Shea's disappearance. But they believe there are witnesses who know more. It's been heartbreaking. Someone out there knows something. It, it's a, it, whether it's a, it's a whisper, it's a rumour, if, if it's something. And no one's either got the courage to come forward and say anything, and that, to be honest, that's made me really angry. Because someone died. I'd, I'd just like to think that she went down fighting. For now, Lily takes some small comfort in the knowledge that Frank Walk will most likely die behind bars. Earlier this year, in a judge alone trial, the 62 year old was found guilty of murdering Hayley Dodd. And it was the courageous Andrea whose vital evidence helped convict him. When you close your eyes, you can still see everything that happened that night, can't you? Yes, I do suffer chronic post-traumatic stress disorder and I do suffer flashbacks. But at the same time, even though I have to live with this for the rest of my life, at least I know that he's put away where he cannot hurt anyone ever again. While we know Walk murdered Hayley Dodd, he refuses to reveal what he did with her body and where. It's a wicked defiance that angers Haley's best friend, Lisa Fredrickson. Do you think you'll ever be able to put this behind you? Honestly, I will always feel responsible, and that's just me. We know who done it now. We just need to bring her home. There's one more terrible secret Frank Walk is likely keeping more victims of his violence. And for Eddie Rowe, the former detective who lives with the regret of not catching Walk all those years ago, it's a chilling notion. It was hard. Still gives me goosebumps to 
to think about, you know, the what ifs, what if we'd solved it in 1999, the things we, we could have done, the things I could have done personally. Because we know for sure other women have been hurt. Yes, yeah. And there's very likely others out there. There is, I would, without a shadow of a doubt, there will be others. We asked the West Australian police to explain what went wrong with its investigation into Hayley Dodd's murder and why it didn't conduct proper forensic testing at the time of her disappearance. We were told they had no intention to make any comment about it. If you have information about Frank Walk, especially his time in Queensland, call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000.